Hi, this is Jason with Production Voices. I am so pleased today to introduce you to Production Grand 2. Production Grand 2 is the revised version of Production Grand, where we took all the user feedback and added some things that we've always wanted to put in here. And we've um, created a nice interface here. And uh, let's take a look at what those options are. So within the presets themselves, um, we have um, several different choices to go through. We can load up this modern inside. You can see it's quickly loading into RAM. Uh, then you've got eight microphone perspectives. Before we used to have a modern and a vintage edition of this. Now we can do it all within one interface. So the vintage and modern mics are all combined into one. And then we've got the reverb up top. So we've added some custom reverbs and custom impulse responses, as well as a reverb section. So you can go in and select each of these. We've got touch response, which is how the keyboard plays responds to velocity. So if you want it to be <coughs> pardon me, less responsive, we can bring it down. And then if you want it to be actual piano like, you'd do 100 percent Because when we recorded production grand, we did so with the maximum uh, velocity set for everything. So I have to take a drink of water while I show you this. The next one is the show microphones. And in the show microphones, it's going to show you exactly the placement of the microphones on our little uh, graph here. And it explains what each of these are and where, where they're placed. You can close that either here or close it over here. So on this main page, we're giving you those eight microphone perspectives, on off buttons, reverb controls, kind of the main controls that you would expect on uh, the piano to be able to use it. Next, we'll go to the settings page. The settings page has the lids uh, half closed. This is all simulated um, velocity curves. Some things that we really wanted to do is increase the pedal response. So now we have sympathetic resonance. So if I press an F here, and then I go, you get that resonance all added to the note. And um, continuous pedal, it does, the pedal does some uh, amazing things as well that we didn't have before, which was catch pedaling. So if you go in, and we'll let up on the panel and then quickly put it down again. It catches that sound. You can still hear it kind of in the background, right? It's still holding on to a bit of it, just like a real piano would. Uh, we've added um, the pre-attack. So I'm going to turn on the pre-attack. And the pre-attack has a live mode. So then now you can play the pre-attack. Increase the volume. That's that wood sound that you hear. It's got some nice pre-attack on it. Uh, that was, of course, too loud for that. And then that's playable live, which wasn't uh, playable before. We've got some tunings. You can choose A440, A432. You can go in and choose your uh, temperaments on each of those as well. Let's head over to the mixer. Now the mixer is where this thing really shines, right? And so if you're an audio engineer like myself or um, you're working on an album, this is where you can re really do some nice things. So this mixer probably requires its own video in and of itself. Every single channel has a solo, <coughs> I mean, a mute, uh, inverse pan, some uh, panning on it so that you can just take that. That's just in the right speaker, just in the left speaker. And then I think you can command click to get that right back in the middle. So what this allows you to do is that you could uh, also mono. Uh, mono is going to sum at the moment, so it takes all, both left and right. And uh, puts it all into one. If we turn the mono off, this is what we've got. So then if you mono just the left side, you're only going to get a single channel. Take the right side of that. So what this allows you to do is to add another microphone perspective and say, okay, so I'll take the left side of one and the right side of another, and then we can pan them out on either side, and you can get combined like a All right, so you can get that sort of effect going on. I'm going to turn those off and get the panning back to where it was before, and uh, turn that mono off, uh, mono sum. There we go. So then there you go, those are the, uh, both two microphone perspectives at the same time. So 
starting to get that gorgeous resonance that happens naturally with the piano. You've got some reverb settings up top. You can set the reverb, you can turn the reverb on, so we can choose the convolution or you can do algorithmic in there. Uh, anytime it's R, it's a real uh, impulse response. Otherwise, it's coming from like a plate or something else on it. Uh, here, let's see what we've got for. Uh, uh, I'm going to take a studio note. Maybe I should do just a medium plate. Maybe let's increase the reverb sound on each of those. I got a little more reverb. And then you have the ability to go in and do your EQs as well. So then um, you can turn on the EQ on a channel, open it up. It doesn't look like there's any settings on here, but the moment you click on it, it's going to show you what it is. So in the frequency, so if I wanted to add, not that I'd want to add any more high end to this, but if I wanted to add some more high end, uh, maybe I could do a shelf on there, right? Uh, let me do frequency uh, a little bit around 10K or something. And then there's your gain. Wow, that's a lot of gain. Of course, you're only affecting one microphone perspective uh, of the two that are on there. Uh, we also have a compressor on every channel. You can turn it on and off, and then you can see it. This is uh, going to be the SSL emulation right within uh, Logic, or pardon me, uh, Contact itself. You can see all the threshold ratios, everything's sh shown there as soon as you click on it. Uh, very nice that we have uh, inverse pan. This takes it with something that, from player's perspective, you can go from player's perspective to audience perspective. If you're listening on headphones, that will make a big difference right there. It always throws me off. I want to be at the player's perspective when I'm looking at that. But for album work, you might not, right? You want to be uh, be able to switch that easily. So reverb section down below, you can see the pictures of things as you go through. There's some really nice halls in here, um, uh, some real halls. And then let's get into the master effects. Master effects, we have a tape simulator. And then you can go in and gain warmth. Uh, Let's add some warmth to that. High roll up, we don't want quite that much. That's a little too much gain, right? So you can get a little bit of grit if you wanted to. Master EQ on everything. Transient Designer is just going to be your attacks. Uh, if you want a little more attack on something, I can give you an example of that. Well, looks like I gotta go back in and change the volumes of some things. There we go. Let's uh, turn on transient designer. Now we're losing uh, the input. Output. See how the attack is kind of gone? Get too much attack and then you soften up the attack. Master limiter and uh, master reverb, so across everything if you wanted to. So uh, that's the overview of Production Brand 2. I am so pleased with it, man. It's it's a really a beautiful instrument. Uh, the nice part is we can get a couple more microphone perspectives in here. Let's add a little bit of uh, the head as well as the hammer. sounds with it. So there's your overview of uh, Production Grand version 2.